Welcome back to the BMA News. I hope you guys have been doing well since the last time we saw you. Let's start off with a spiritual thought from Raquel. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Nicolas. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Huh? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Haha, <laughs> very funny. You know I don't speak Spanish. I mean, you could learn. You just decide not to. Who has time for that? I mean, I've got classes and homework and other things Look, to do. Look, it's very simple. It's like making an effort to talk to God through prayer. Wait a minute, I thought we were talking about Spanish. I mean, well, think about it. It's like we can communicate with God and He listens to us every single time, but it's our part to do it. And 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says, pray without ceasing. Wow, thanks for the spiritual lesson. I'll see you later. See ya! If you think about it, it's the same way you make friends. Yeah, that's true. If you want to be friends with someone, then you have to be intentional about getting to know them. Yeah, and we actually have to be intentional about a lot of things, like learning a new sport, striving for academic success. Or improving your musical abilities, mm -hmm. which I believe Anna has our musical segment for this week. certainly excited for the Easter cantata. Yeah, keep up the good work, guys. So the next segment is about food, and I have a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce go to the special feature. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Roxana, back again with the special feature. This past week, we had a voluntary Jews fast, and some of the students partook in it. But there was a lot that didn't. They just couldn't give up the calf food. Let's ask them what's their favorite food from the calf. Yeah. All right, so we're here with JC, and we're asking him what is his favorite meal from the calf. My favorite meal from the calf would probably have to be the fettuccine Alfredo. It's really good. My favorite meal of all times is the Indian haystacks. Love them. Breakfast burritos. So we're here with Aussie and we're asking him what's his favorite meal from the calf. My favorite meal from calf is Capri sandwiches. I have to say it's the bread of ravioli with the roasted cauliflower. I don't know what they do with the cauliflower, but it's so good. My favorite meal from the calf is mac and cheese and french fries and chicken nuggets. Yes. Or I might need to go with the croissant sandwiches because they're pretty good too. So now we're here with Madison. She works here at the Learning Center as well as in orchestra and choir. So Madison, what is your favorite meal from the calf? I think my favorite meal is the Capri sandwiches. Actually, All right, so now we're here with Juhyun and we're asking him what's his favorite meal from the calf. Uh, Indian haystacks. All right, so that's it from my part. Back to you guys. I don't eat at the calf often, but when I did, I had fettuccine alfredo and it was Mm, that does sound delicious. <laughs> Speaking of that, I heard that there was a rumor going around the school. Something about cows? Hmm, let's move on over. <laughs> Hello, my name is Daniel Falco, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the fun fact. The fun fact for today is 7% of Americans think that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. I don't know. Let's see the staff. Do you think chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Absolutely. Absolutely, <laughs> it does. It has to. Do you think chocolate milk comes from brown cows? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm sure it, it doesn't. <laughs> OK. Do you think chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Chocolate milk comes from brown cows, obviously. I would say yes. Do you think chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Chocolate milk definitely does not come from brown cows. <laughs> now those were some interesting responses. Now, 
What do you think? Well, I believe we have a new school controversy. I personally think that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. What are you saying? No, it doesn't. And don't drink that. It's expired. Well, okay. It looked like dirty water anyways. But, well, it did rain yesterday, actually. Well, April showers bring May flowers. Weather crew, take it away. Hi, my name is Katerina. Hi, my name is Caitlin. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the weather segment. The snow has finally melted, and it feels like it's been cold forever, Wait, but so, now it's... Ah, I get it now. Okay, you guys, so this is the ever segment out no. here? No, it's Wait, not. not. This is not. No, it's this is not. not. We, we no, talked, we talked about segment. this. No one ever knows. It's the weather segment. <laughs> You're not in this. Anyways, our weather for this coming up days will be a lot of rain showers, but also a lot of sun, with highs of 50s and lows of 30s. No, no. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do an ever segment next time. Maybe. I think you'd like that. Finally, we have a potential staff member in the building. Oh, that's exciting. We have some videos you might be interested in seeing. Alright class, today we're going to conquer another exciting topic in the life of mathematics, and that is the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is very useful because it lets us solve for both roots of a quadratic equation without doing factoring. That's a very complex formula, but it's one that you should probably memorize. So I'm going to write that formula on the board right now. So everybody give me your attention and please remain very quiet while I write this on the board. Here we go. When you have a formula in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, we know that the roots x1 and x2 can be found, minus b, plus or minus, square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. Isn't that a thing of beauty? <laughs> wow! Inconceivable! Where did they all go? Oh, I know, I can mark them all absent, and then they'll get on CLR. Where's my record book? I can write down who's not here, who's missing. Ah, there you are. That was close. All right, class, just want to remind you, today is the last day to turn in that essay that I assigned you. Uh, it is worth 25% of your grade, so I hope you have it done. Um, so let's go ahead and get those turned in. Ms. Mathias, here's an essay. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this. Yeah, you know how they say a thousand words equal a picture? I can explain this to you. So I was dreaming about a place in agriculture. And then the inspiration came to me, and this is what I had to write about, but I drew it. So here you go. <laughs> oh my. Um, I'm guessing that you just couldn't find the words to express it wasn't what you wanted to say. Chickens are supreme. Well, your lack of words will equal my lack of numbers. I don't think I can find any way to express that in my grade book. Okay, as you know, you have a test on Wednesday. Oh. Oh. Come on, you should study for this test. Look at how you're dressed. Shorts, sweatpants, whatever goes on. Hey, hold on a second, I got a phone call. Don't go anywhere. Let's go, guys. This is our chance. Well, that was such a great... Uh, and cancel again! <laughs> That's a little insight for you on the life of a BMA teacher. Did you spot us in them? Sorry for leaving you, Mr. Engen. <laughs> yeah, those videos were really fun to be a part of. So now we have some announcements, so take it away, Antonia. So, coming up this March 20th is Pastor Kim's ordination. Well, that was short. <laughs> March 26th, we have a special assembly about Asia. And March 28th, we have career day and job fair. Well, that's all for this episode. See you next time. And as always, stay, stay proud, proud to be BMA. BMA.